Toy Mates Toho Series 1965 Baragon. I don't have a proper intro for this. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Playmates Toho Series Baragon from 1965. This particular version of Baragon was actually the Destroy All Monsters version. I don't know why, but they made it seem like it was from Baragon's first appearance. Because of the year. The version I guess they wanted it to be from is Baragon's first appearance. Like I said earlier. A butthole? Anyways, the painting and sculpting on Baragon is amazing. From the overall waffle body to the darky face. Which is surprisingly really good. Considering my previous reviews, eyes was a little eh. Link in the description for that. Check that out, please. I've been anticipating this figure since January. You know, when they actually said it was coming out at the end of February. But came out like around now. This guy's currently on Amazon right now. If you're having trouble finding him out at your local Target, which is I usually find all my Playmates Godzilla figures. Check Amazon, because they actually surprisingly have this. Anyways, let's get back on track to the review. The mouth is actually well painted, too. The tongue has a decent sculpt, I don't know what it's called, but you know, it's actually really nice. And so are the teeth. Each separately painted and sculpted. Just the overall sculpt and paint for this figure is pretty good. Oh wait, what's that? This is really the only paint flaw that I've really seen on this guy, but other than that, that's really it. And it's not really super noticeable, considering I'm going to have him displayed on the shelf like this. So that's not really going to count toward anything. On the topic of painting and sculpting, the little ridges on his back are also individually sculpted. Which is a nice little detail that's very subtle. But thank god Playmates added it, because it looks amazing. Sadly, the back doesn't have that much of the same beautiful sculpting like the front. Like I said, with this little paint splooch. It's not going to bother me that much anyway, considering I'm going to have him standing up just like that. On the topic of his little spine bumps, the tail. Kind of annoying, considering it abruptly stops at like the mid-tail. But honestly, I can see why. Who's really going to paint this? Let's talk about the head a little more. If I'm being honest with you, the little snout and nose kind of reminds me of a dog. Just the overall head just reminds me of a dog. And those ears are pretty decently well painted. They're plain and basic, but it does the job. Same thing with the horn, which I also just noticed has a little flaw, but then again, I'm not gonna notice it. These claws are Eh, really not the best, but you know, it's fine. Honestly, his arms in general are just stubby. The legs are also really well done. They look pretty nice considering this kaiju's pretty beefy. Feet licensing, and that's about it. Painting and sculpting on Baragon is amazing. Honestly, aside from Baragon, Playmates has just been really doing good in painting in terms of painting and sculpting. Well, sometimes it's kind of like, what the heck is the point of this? It describes itself pretty decently. Now, let's get on to the articulation, which is fairly limited, sadly, but I can't really blame them. Now, let's get on to the articulation, which is fairly limited, sadly, but I can't really blame them. Baragon contains a swivel at the attached tail, a swivel at the head, a swivel at the legs, and a swivel at his arms. Articulation isn't bad for old Barry here, but honestly, all Playmate figures don't have that much articulation. Now, to end it off, I'm going to be talking about size comparisons. Here he is next to the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2004. My previous review, the Mezco Round 1 Destroy All Monsters set. I'm just going to be using Godzilla because... Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla 2019. And here are some other Playmates Soho Series figures. 
For my final thoughts, I heavily recommend this figure. For a cheap price set at $17 on Amazon, he is definitely worth adding to your collection. He is definitely worth adding to your collection. And that's really it. As I try to find some shelf space for old Baragon here, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.